everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun multi-layered card for you using the Bright Skies Bundle. This is from our 2024 Spring Mini Catalog from Stampin' Up. Lots of great dies in this set, um, as well as cute images. We're gonna use this big one. And I love this, the uh, fonts too on these sayings. Now there's a coordinating product that goes with that bundle. It's called the Sunny Days Designer Series Paper. And it is in our celebration catalog. This is our 2024 celebration catalog that is only good through the end of February, okay? It's right here on page five. And this paper, the only way you can get it is for free when you spend $50. So it's a great purchase, uh, or it's a great choice if you purchase the bundle to choose the paper. Um, it's got clouds and rain, of course, but it also has some great bright and springy patterns that'll be great here in the spring as we get closer to the spring. I love the fruit, there's strawberries and cherries. We've got some flowers and butterflies and there are those cherries and the rain pattern. So we're gonna use this on our card as well as this pattern. We're gonna cut out one of these clouds, the dies magically cut out the clouds as well, which is awesome. I love when the dies coordinate with paper as well. Okay, so we've got a lot of die cutting to do. The first thing though that we're gonna do is make our clouds. I don't know if you guys can see these clouds. They are embossed. I have stamped them on basic white and embossed them with white embossing powder. Kind of a fun little, just unexpected way to stamp these clouds. Now I'm going to ink up my cloud. First, the first thing we need to do is on your basic white piece, take your embossing buddy and rub it over really, really good. This is gonna reduce any um, static that may have accumulated and it will prevent your embossing powder from sticking in places you don't want it to stick. Now I am stamping it in Versamark, which is clear. So you're like, hello, we cannot see it. That's okay, you'll see it in a minute when I put the embossing powder on top. All right, so get that nice and stuck down. Now I have my embossing powder along with my, this is called the embossing accessory kit and it's really great if you like to emboss can tap that right off in there. Now you guys can probably see the clouds. Okay, there we go. And while we have this out, I also have a piece of black. This is what we're gonna put our sentiment on. Rub it with that embossing buddy. And we're gonna do, which sentiment did I use? Bright, this one. Bright, you brighten my cloudy days. Now my ink, <laughs> I mean my stamp is pink or red because I used it with a red ink. It's stained, but that's okay. It still works just as well. All right, so I've st I've uh, stamped it down the bottom because we're gonna trim this piece. All right, now knock it off. This comes with a little, um, what is this called? A uh, paintbrush that you can knock off those if, brush them off if they don't come off when you tap it over. Okay, so now we're gonna get the heat tool. It's gonna to take me about a minute to turn these into shiny embossed images. So I'll speed up the tape and come back when they are done. Okay, I am back. Let's see, can you see my clouds now? They're nice and shiny. We also need to stamp our sun. I'm trying to think of all the things we need to die cut so we can just pull that our cut and emboss machine out one time. So we need the sun. We're gonna cut out a um, gray cloud and let me pull over my grid paper. We're gonna stamp the little raindrops on that. So let's just kind of stamp them across like that. And um, we are going to cut a lightning bolt. We are also going to cut some of our clouds using the cloud border die that's in this set. We're actually gonna cut two sets of cloud borders. Okay, so let me pull all of this out of the way. Let me get my dies, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do all of this. All right, the first thing that we need to do is to cut these layers right here, 
okay? So I have a piece of pool party that measures the exact same as my designer series paper. It might be just a slightly, a little bit bigger, um, but it's supposed to be the same size. Anyhow, I'm gonna take these two, we, this die set comes with these two uh, border, like cloud borders, and I'm gonna cut it like this. Let's go down a little bit like that. All right, so we'll run that through. So you've got one for the ups, upper corner, and we've got one for the bottom corner. Now I don't think I showed you the inside. Let me show you the inside. We need to cut a couple of them for uh, the inside as well. So I've got just kind of a strip here that I'm gonna do just kind of like this. Okay, um, I think we can put the smoky slate piece in. We'll cut that and we will cut, let's see what else, the lightning bolt from silver foil. I think we can fit that on there. Okay, lay carefully lay your plate down. Let me just come back this way so we're in the frame and everything is sticking to my new plates. All right, let's see what we've got. We have got, you're, uh, you're gonna want your take your pick tool. It's gonna really help you get these dies situated, get them out of there, get the paper out of the die, but also the little things like the raindrops, um, it'll help you pick them up. All right, so here are our little borders for the inside. We'll put those aside for when we're done. And whoops, see your little putty end can pick these up. We've got a lightning bolt. now. What about those clouds and the sun? Well, let's get our die. And I'm gonna pick this up because it's very light. So I wanna make sure I get it in the right spot. There we go. And then the sun die, I will tell you, is not symmetrical. So when you lay it down, look at all the little points and just keep rotating it until you see them all lock in. You'll know, as soon as it's in the right place, you'll know. All right, carefully lay down your dies. And we've got one, there's our sun. And now we've got to cut out one more right here. Your paper is a little bit warped after you have heat embossed it. So if you're worried about your dies moving as you go through, you can stick them down with some post-it tape or even just a post-it note. All right, we've got all of our pieces. We are ready to put this all together. So we're gonna start, actually, before we do that, we need to add a little bit of ink. I added a little bit of pool party ink to these, okay? So I'm gonna use a small blending brush and some pool party ink. And I'm just gonna go around the edges like this. Just kind of adding some ink to make it a little more vibrant. All right, so just all the way around like that, okay? All right, now let's start putting it all together. I have cut that piece of designer series paper, again, four by five and a fourth. And by the way, all of this will be on my blog, there's a free uh, PDF with measurements and supply list for this project, as well as two other bright skies and sunny day projects. All right, so match the corners as you lay these down and right there. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is put down these clouds and we're gonna let them hang over the edge a little bit. We're gonna trim them off so that they match the edge of our card. So I'm just gonna put that one up there. I want my dimensionals in, make sure they're in the right place. I don't want to cut them off. And then we'll put this one down here in the corner like this, okay? So now get your trimmer and we're gonna line this up right here on the edge. And make sure I'm right in the on the edge. And I'm gonna take my 
a trimmer blade and trim off so that those clouds are even with my designer series paper. All right, so now there we go. All right, next let's add in our dark clouds. Oh, and you know what? I forgot, didn't I? I forgot to cut out our cloud from our paper, but we'll do that in a sec. So we'll put that, that dark cloud behind, tuck the sun in like that. And so let's bring this back over real quick. We need to cut out one of the clouds from our paper. And it could be any of the clouds that you want. You know, it doesn't really matter. Um, I will use a different one from what I used in the sample. So let's do this one. So instead of trying to cut that out with your scissors, which, you know, is okay too if you want to do that. But if you don't want to, you've got these dies that perfectly match. Well, if I get the plate out. All right, so let's lay that down like that. And run it through. And again, let's get that poked out. There we go. Okay, now back to where we were. This cloud I have put kind of over here on the edge of this cloud. And then I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm gonna adhere our lightning bolt right in here like that. Okay, now for our sentiment, I need to trim that down also. So, trimmer to the rescue again, set that in there and just cut that. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit right here. And I didn't grab my pick a punch, banner pick a punch, so I'm going to show you a trick. You can snip it right in the middle, like that, and then go from the corner over and the other corner over to the top of that line that you've cut. And there you've got your banner. All right. Now we'll set this right in here like that and let's put it on our card base why don't we everything is buried i've got so many things going on over here i've got a basic black card base and i'm going to put it on here with dimensionals of course my favorite form of adhesive okay like that and then I thought, you know, let's add a few rhinestone raindrops, just a few up here in the clouds. We can put a few down here like that. All right, now what about the inside? Remember we have these cute little pieces. I'm gonna take my uh, raindrop stamp and I'm gonna stamp some raindrops across this basic white piece let's see I need my grid paper again I don't want to get ink on my desk we'll do like that and then we'll take regular stamp and seal and go across Matching those corners like that. And then we'll do this one a little bit higher. Like, mm, let's do it like that. No, nope, that's not over far enough. How about like that? All right, so then, I think maybe I didn't cut one of them thick enough, but that's all right. We'll go with it. Like that. 
And now let's put this inside of your card. And there you go. A fun multi-layered card. Nothing too fancy, too difficult, but lots of different ways to use your dies and your stamps. All right, I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back over to my blog. Um, there's a free PDF and two other Bright Skies projects. Have fun stamping, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.